So I'm going to show you how to do the uh, inverted braid. So the first thing you want to do is just uh, brush your hair to get rid of any tangled knots. And then just grab the first third of your hair, so the upper third, and then just divide that into three different uh, sections of hair like you would a normal braid. Now this is where the thing differs. The first thing you're going to do is actually to pass a string of hair under the braid. So whilst in a French braid you just uh, uh, braid them up, you're going to braid them down. Okay, and then just grab hair as you go along so that the braid is kind of um, stick to your head. So really the thing that you have to pay attention is this right here. Notice how everything is going under and not over. So this is the main difference and this is what gives it an unexpected twist. So I'm braiding it under, not over. Just remember to continue braiding under even when you're uh, left with no hair to add and just your regular hair. And then just when you're done, just tie a knot so that the braid is secure. If you need, you can use uh, some bobby pins just to pin down some flyaway hair. But this is the final look. So, as you guys can see, it's very different from your regular uh, French braid. Uh, it is quite unexpected from the back. show you how to do the French braid. So the first step is just the same grab a third of your hair, um, the upper portion, and then just divide it into uh, three different strings of hair. And so here you're actually going to braid over each string. So you braid once and then grab a little bit of hair from one side, braid another part and then just grab a little bit from here so that uh, the middle section uh, goes to the section in the right, then you grab some hair, then you pull the middle section to the left, and so on and so forth. So that's pretty much braiding 101. <laughs> so just continue adding hair and braiding over. So the strings of hair go over each other and not under. Uh, Just remember again to continue braiding over uh, each string of hair even when there's no more uh, hair uh, left to gather. When you're done, just uh, tie a knot to secure the hair and if you want, you can also use some bobby pins to spin down some flyaways um, and you're pretty much done. So the French braid is your average uh, braid, you know, that is stuck to your uh, head. <laughs> so it's very uh, cute and very indefinitely. But if you want to have some unexpected, just try the other braid.